that new Squid Game Season 2 teaser. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's out there now. It's something else. I bet a lot of our listeners have watched it a couple times already. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, trying to catch all those little details and hints of what's to come. Absolutely. And we are going to do a deep dive into it today. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. Me too. So for anyone out there who maybe hasn't seen Squid Game yet. Oh, wow. First of all, uh, what have you been doing? Yeah, on that. But really quick, the premise of the show is basically you have a bunch of people who are in dire straits financially. Right. Yeah. And they're invited to participate in these games. Right. For a chance to win a massive cash prize. Massive. But the catch is that the games are these deadly versions of children's games. Yeah, like red light, green light. Exactly. And the whole thing is just this really visually striking show. It really is. That contrasts these like vibrant colors in these playful sets with this like brutal violence and psychological tension it's disturbing but you can't look away yeah so if that sounds interesting to you at all definitely check out season one do it but today we're going to focus on what we know so far about season two based on this new teaser yeah and a few articles that have been released there's a lot to unpack there's a lot to unpack so let's dive in okay okay so the biggest thing obviously that everybody's talking about is that Gihun is back. Yeah, the winner of season one. The winner. Right back in the game. And he's not just back to play. No, no, he's got a bigger agenda. It seems like he's trying to take the games down from the inside. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Which adds a whole new layer of complexity to his character. Absolutely, because in season one, he was just trying to survive. Just trying to get through each game, you know? Yeah, right, just focused on winning the money. But now he's putting himself back in danger for a completely different reason. And potentially risking everything he wants. Yeah. I mean, in the teaser, there's even a line from one of the other players who's like, why would you come crawling back? Oh, yeah. That one really stood out to me, too. Which really highlights how suspicious his return is. Yeah. He's definitely not there just for the money anymore. And the other big thing, obviously, is the new players. A fresh batch of contestants. And, you know, they're all drawn in by that same promise of this huge... 45.6 billion one prize. Who wouldn't be, right? Right. Yeah. But I think this season is going to really delve into the psychological manipulation of hope and desperation that fuels the games. I think so, too. You know, like, how far are people willing to go when they feel like they have nothing left to lose? It's a powerful motivator. And there's that scene in the teaser where all the players are chanting, one more game. Oh, yeah, that was chilling. Which I think really hints at the potential for like mob mentality mm -hmm. and the insidious allure of the competition. Definitely. And I think that also ties into what the director has said about this season exploring Gihun's psychological state. Oh, yeah. The trauma. Yeah. They're going to really dig into the weight of his past choices and the trauma that he carries. Which suggests to me that this season might be even more emotionally charged than the first. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot more of the human cost of these games. Definitely. And, of course, we can't talk about Squid Game without talking about the visuals. Right. The visual storytelling is so key to the show's impact. It's so striking, mm -hmm. you know, that juxtaposition of the bright colors, like the player jumpsuits against the brutality of the game. Yeah, it creates this unsettling atmosphere. Yeah, like a candy-colored nightmare. Exactly. And I think that visual language really contributes to the show's overall tone. Oh, definitely. It adds to the sense of unease, and it makes the violence even more impactful. So we've got Gihan's mission to expose the games from the inside. Right. We've got these new players desperate for a way out of their own circumstances. And a deeper dive into the psychological effects of the games. The stakes definitely seem higher than ever before. Oh, for sure. And especially considering that Netflix has already confirmed that season three will be the final season. Oh, right. This really could be the beginning of the end for Gihon's fight. So the big question is, can Gihon actually break the cycle? Yeah. Can anyone truly escape the influence of these games? I guess we'll have to wait until December 26th to find out. December 26th. Mark your calendars, everybody. Get ready for another wild ride. And in the meantime, think about this. Do you think season two will offer any hope? Ooh. A chance for redemption? Or is the system too powerful? Yeah. Is the allure of the game just too strong to overcome? That's a good question. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I'm excited to find out. Me too. We'll see you back here after we've all had a chance to process season two. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. See ya.